I'm just outside in the sun doing some editing. It's about like half past eight, nine o'clock, something like that. I've been to the gym this morning. I'm a bit sweaty still because I haven't had a shower. Because if I figured I would go into the pool before I had a shower. But I wanted to get a little bit of editing done before I went in the pool. And I'm going to go and have a little dunk in the pool. It looks like it's going to be a lovely day. I don't know what we're going to do. Whether we're going to just hang around the, um, the condo or whether we're going to go out and explore somewhere. Do you have any preference of what you want to do? No preference? I mean, you kind of want to go out. Kind of want to go out. We'll probably go out, but no idea where yet. We did have a look the other day. We sat down together and like went on the websites and sort of made lists of um, some things that are around Koi Hill that we were going to see. So, yeah, we'll probably go out in a little while. I just chopped us up a little bowl or a big plate. It's not a little bowl, is it? Of fruit to have whilst we're sitting here working. We got some pineapple, dragon fruit, the mango. As you can see, the mango isn't really ripe. I shouldn't have chopped it up yet. And these are um, longans. They're like lychees. Let me show you. You kind of, yeah, peel them from inside. It's like a lychee with a little um, stone, with a little pip stone inside. Oh my goodness, they are so delicious. They're just a pain to eat. You can't eat very many of them because it takes so long. That's what it looks like. And it is so, so good. There's a little stone. We're heading out, we're going to get a song tow into the centre of Kwai Hin. First port of call when we get there is, oh, I've gone all dark. First port of call is to find someone with some Wi Fi. We're going to sit and do a little bit of work for a few hours, I think. We have a little palm tree that gives us a bit of shade. We stand in this and wait for the song tow. We're in Kwai Hin, we've just been doing some work for a little bit with some Wi Fi. And the plan was that we were going to go out somewhere, but look, it's now absolutely pouring down. So, I mean, we might just head home, to be honest. I think that might be the plan. What are we thinking? Home. Can you tell how heavy it is? We're not going out in this. Yeah, that's really quite heavy. We're coming, we're sitting at McDonald's. We're going to just sit here and wait for the rain to go because it's bad. Well I guess probably I'm just gonna sponge off McDonald's Wi-Fi and uh, try and upload some more vlogs and things then seeing as uh, we're stuck here. It's not so good that Wi-Fi though I've tried. Probably it's better than we've got at home but what? Oh, hot chocolate, nice. Mm. <laughs> well, this one is certainly enjoying our bit of a good Wi-Fi time. I'm having an absolute nightmare trying to book things. I have been, um, you probably heard me complaining, not, not complaining, but just coming around this bloody Bali holiday that um, my mom and my sister are going out to Bali, or going out to Bali, I should say. Uh, like to meet us for a holiday, uh, for their summer holiday um, at the beginning of September. You will know this, you'll be bored of me talking about this if you watch all of the vlogs. But oh my goodness, I'm trying to figure out, they're at, they get there, or we all should be getting there like on the 4th of September. I'm trying to figure out how we can get from Kwe Hin. So I've booked our accommodation up until like this, well I've booked up until the 4th, but I've cocked up our visas. We're only allowed in Thailand until the 3rd of September. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out the best and cheapest way to get from Kwe Hin. I mean, obviously, like I am, Kwe Hin, like bus up to Bangkok and then Bangkok over to Bali is like the easiest route. But the flights that day, the flight, I'd have to leave on the 3rd, so I need to get out of Thailand on the 3rd. The flights is at six o'clock in the morning. So I'd arrive like in Bali at like 12, the day before my mum and my sister arrive and I wanted to like to have to get there on the phone or like be at the airport with them so I don't know whether they'll know what to do or not that I really know what to do. Um, 
for the flights are just, it's not cheap. I thought it would be like a cheap, quite a cheap flight, but it's not. So I'm just like looking into options up whether we, I don't know, you know when you start something and looking at so many different options. I'm looking at like getting a bus down to somewhere and trying to get a train. And then like the flights from KL are like, are really quite cheap. They're like 25 pounds each. But obviously I'd have to get to KL from here and that could be a bit of an effort. I don't know how I would do that. Oh, I'm just probably just gonna have to pay the expense to be honest. That may be what I just have to do, just to accept that it's gonna be expensive to get to Bali. Look, that's the only flight at the moment. So quarter past six at Bangkok. We have to have the night in Bangkok. Oh, I don't wanna pay 110 pound each for a flight. The vein has finally stopped and we are coming out, although we're not actually really coming out for anything. We're gonna to have a little quick wander around the city centre, maybe go up to the train station. I feel like the train station is quite a pretty little building. So we're gonna have a little, little look, I think, and then head home. We're not gonna stay here too late, to be honest. I think Stephen is disgusted with me that we're walking up to the train station. He's like, why? Oh, look, the fire station's there. Um, yeah, 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 I did think that they were fire engines and then it said they were post, so I didn't know they were post fans or something, I don't know. <laughs> Why are we going to the uh, train station? Because it's supposed to be nice, so why not? Oh, I think it's here actually. I see a train. Apparently these, tr yeah. there's, um, these old trains have been turned into like libraries or something, which is cool. Yeah, look at it. Welcome. Library. I'm assuming all the books will be in Thai. What a cute idea that is. Here's the station. Everyone's so noisy. I'll wait. Get off. Come on. That, this is the, um, what is your technical? The Royal Pavilion, I think. And this was built, from what I understand, this was built in, this train station was built in 1910. Look how nice it is. I don't think Stephen will have any appreciation. You've not got appreciation for this, have you, no? Not at all. But whoa, look at it. it actually is a yeah, it's a working station. I think there's um, trains coming from Bangkok and things. And I think so. It reminds me of, uh, what's it called? What's it called? River Kwai. What's it called? You, you love what's it called, yeah. Uh, River Kwai. Anyway, it was built in 1910 and then it was remodelled in 1926. The enthusiasm in this one <laughs> for this little trip to the train station is incredible. <laughs> Let's go over there and see that train. Maybe it's not working, I'm sure I read that it is a working train. It is because you can get the train, yeah. You can get the train to, yeah, okay. I'll shut up, being stupid. Oh, look at the building there. It's so nice. Stand in it and see. Go on, I dare you to. If you stand in it, I'll buy you an almond magnum. It's not worth it. No. Okay, put your hand in it. Okay. This reminds me of like a Thomas the Tank Engine train. Probably because it's a steam train. I'm gonna open my lad down here. See, could you not like imagine a little Thomas the Tank Engine face on the front of there? What is he doing? I think he's finding a stick to put in that um, <laughs> puddle. You finding a stick? Look, come and look. Doesn't this look like a Thomas the Tank Engine train? Yeah, but if it had a face in it, could, would you not think, oh, it's Thomas the Tank Engine. Is there a green train? What was the name? I don't know, I can't remember. How deep do you think it is? Whoa, no, it's not that deep. Go on, test it out. <laughs> Hang on, didn't you didn't put it like in the middle? Not deep at all, hey? Never mind. You could have stood in that and got a magnum then. Okay, we're done at the train station. 
conclusion well, I enjoyed that little trip there we did this one didn't now we're gonna wander through we might go like through walking street if we can find it I don't really know where it is but if we can find it we'll go through walking street um, and get a like on the way to get in a song Tao home I like their signs they have this style of sign like all over Hui Hin they're pretty Oh look, they're setting up for um, a night market, you know how I love a good night market. But we're not going to be here for this one, unfortunately. I think maybe tomorrow we're going to come down, like later on, and be down here for the evening and everything. So I can get my fix of, oh yeah, so I can get my fix of night market. I just like, like the hustle and bustle and everything of them. What? Ooh, Jorian. Ooh, mangosteens. I don't think I ever... Oh no, poor little animals. Aww. What? I bet in like a couple of hours, this will be absolutely... Oh yeah. We've been here before. This will be absolutely even in a little bit. Oh, I'm going to get my neighbour. Sometimes then. Oh yeah. Oh, is that? What? Yeah. Are they taking us home or the other way? We'll go and check it out. Let me just nip to 7-Eleven. We're done in the city centre now. We're going to try and head home. The song tower just went past us. I didn't pick it up. I was waving at it, but it went without us. So we're going to try and get the next one. I was going to walk. It's about three and a half kilometres, but we're going to get a song tower instead. This one stopped for us. Ooh. We are back at home. We're just trying to figure out what we're going to have for our tea. We can't decide. And also, what on Minecraft we've decided. We bought a mouse the other day. And to satisfy our gaming addiction. Is it an addiction, Stephen? Maybe yes. it's an addiction. I don't know. But to satisfy our gaming Whoa. need, we bought a mouse. And we're playing Minecraft. It's a water village. Oh, I just found a village on Minecraft and he's sneaking out. How we're doing it is we're playing it together. We're doing a survival world. And um, if you don't know Minecraft, this is of no interest to you. But we both love Minecraft, and but we're completely different. Like I like building and decorating and things, and he's like all oh, good with the monsters or whatever. Um, and so we're kind of taking it in turns. Like I play for half an hour, and like and then he plays for half an hour, and so I'm like taking it in turns to do it. It's pretty cool, but having fun doing it. And yeah, I just found a village, and then. I thought I'd go exploring, mm -hmm. and he's just taken over. Well, I let him take over. But I don't nice like that. I think we're just gonna have like sandwiches for tea or something. Do you fancy sandwiches, Stephen? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't got anything to put on a sandwich. Cheese. Mm, yeah, but I don't eat cheese. I don't know what I'm gonna have. I have like some lentils and things actually, so I might cook oh, up some lentils and veg and things and just make like a. Jewy type thing. 